back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video slash review. It is a video. It's going to be a review video on these oval makeup brushes. I picked these up at my local beauty supply store that wasn't so local because it was pretty far away. <laughs> I picked these up at the beauty supply store and it comes with 10 brushes that look like this and they retailed for I think it was like 12 almost $13 $12 and some change. So just going ahead and getting into these I'm just going to show you guys what they look like. Um, this is the head of the brush the bristles are pretty densely packed and it's very very soft um just to show you guys from the side what it looks like when i'm running my fingers over it and then it just has a handle like this and then that's what the back side looks like so i'm sure you guys have probably seen this on the internet um i'm not going to do a full face routine with this today i'm just going to do my foundation my concealer and then um if at the end i might use one of the brushes to apply some lip paint we'll see but i'm just gonna see how this works out. Um, do these really blend them seamlessly and flawlessly? We're gonna see. My first thought about these are that these are very, very soft. So um, we'll see how it works moving on my face. There's nothing on my face except for primer right now. So um, we'll see how it moves product around. As always, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my video so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. Like the video, give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy this. If you wanna see a full-blown face routine with filling in brows because I went ahead and filled in my brows already um, doing eyeshadow the whole shebang then comment down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up so let's get started so I am going to go ahead and color correct that's something I didn't mention but um, I'm gonna color correct I'm using the LA girl pro concealer this is the orange concealer and I went ahead and pinned back my hair just so that it's not in my face when I'm trying to blend so I'm just applying this in all the places that I have acne scarring and any hyperpigmentation or discoloration on my face next I'm just gonna spray my Smashbox primer water on my face to try and help ease with the blending because I did notice that my orange color corrector is a little bit dried out I don't color correct all the time so I'm just gonna spray this to help a little bit with the blending process next I'm gonna be taking this brush right here this is just to compare it to the brush that I would assume that you use for your foundation I'm gonna use this to blend out my orange color corrector I feel like I'm brushing my teeth <laughs> So the brush feels like it's gliding, but then also I feel like I'm kind of moving product around. I'm not really like, it's not really staying put. It's just kind of like gliding in that general direction. So I guess something that I would suggest is maybe use a little bit of color corrector since it's going to spread it out anyway. I know that's what happens when you blend, but when you blend with like a beauty sponge or something, then it does seem like a little more controlled. So this is my face after blending out the orange color corrector. I think it stayed in place the most around my nose, but everywhere else I feel like it just kind of spread everywhere uh, that it wasn't supposed to. It didn't stay in the concentrated spot that I wanted. It ended up everywhere else but there. So next I'm gonna put on my foundation. I'm gonna use the bigger brush that I showed you guys not too long ago. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte Poreless Foundation today. And I am in the shade 360 right now. And I'm just, I have it on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to dip the brush in and the product just kind of sits on the top of the brush if you guys can see that it's not seeping through so that could be one benefit instead of like a beauty sponge it's not just seeping into the bristles So I'm just applying like another layer. I poured more foundation on the back of my hand and I'm just applying another layer because I feel like this looks very like BB cream and normally it doesn't. It looks pretty like full coverage, um, but this initially when I applied it, it looked very light coverage, just very thin, very skin-like. So I wanted to make sure that I did have that coverage because I know that this foundation is full coverage for me and it's buildable. So this is after I've applied my foundation. Um, I just wanna show you guys what the brush looks like. You can see that the bristles are starting to group together there. Um, just something that I wanted to comment on. I did say it while I was applying my foundation, but you kind of just need to glide this, like barely like press it on your face because when you're brushing like this, then that's what's like spreading the product down. And then it's just essentially like moving it from one place to the other. It's just shifting it down. And then you have that patchiness. So I saw that it was a little more even when I was just gently like gliding it over like this. 
just gently massaging it onto my cheeks like this I'm not like brushing down like don't brush it like you're brushing your hair I know that's like a natural instinct to want to do that but um, don't <laughs> and just work with small amounts of your foundation I know like normally you can eyeball it when you're using your regular brushes but I ended up using too much foundation so pour out a little bit start off with that and then work your way up don't just pour out a bunch and be like I'll use all of it next I'm going to apply my concealer so just to show you guys this is the brush that I use for my foundation this is the brush that I'm about to use for my concealer and this is the brush that I use for color correcting <laughs> I'm just applying this side because I don't want to apply this side and it dry and then it also I kind of want to show you guys the comparison of what this side looks like once it's blended with a brush versus this side that has no concealer at all. But this brush is very fluffy and I feel like I'm trying to do the gliding. It's like a little more poofy compared to the foundation brush. Like do you guys see that? It's a little more like it has a more of a bubble shape I was I don't know what I was about to say it has more of a meniscus um it has more of a bubble shape than the foundation brush and I don't know what that's about yeah this is really messy so just to get a little bit closer to show you guys obviously this side is a little more highlighted um than this side but I did have some difficulty getting under the eye so I'll probably end up using a smaller brush and going in there but that's the only place really that it's like patchy it was just messy at first but I did add my primer water and that did help spread it out a little bit so again just build up the amounts that you use use a little bit of primer water and then blend it out because if you add too much um then it gets really runny and then it just spreads it everywhere so now I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side now that you guys have already seen me do this side of my face <laughs> So now I'm moving on to a smaller brush for down my nose. So I've highlighted the other side of my face and I actually do not like where this is going. It's really, really patchy. Um, I'll get closer so that you guys can see. I don't know if it's going to pick it up as well, but it's very, very patchy right in this region you guys can see when I was trying to blend it just gets really patchy I don't know why that brush has that dome on it and the other ones are just kind of flat I don't know what that is about but I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose and then contour my cheeks and then come to you guys with my final thoughts so I'm using the shade Carob from the Anastasia cream contour kit and I'm just gonna show you guys I'm putting the product on the brush um, I'm using this very very thin brush to apply it <laughs> I'm going to use this circular brush to apply the lip paint and honestly I don't even want to do this but we're gonna go ahead and do it just for the sake of seeing if it actually works Honestly, I'm not impressed at all with these brushes. I feel like my makeup came out really patchy. Um, I just feel like it spread it too thin and instead of just concentrating into one place, it just spreads it all over your face. So it's essentially like you're trying to chase the product around and try and keep it in one spot, but it ends up somewhere else. Um, it may not be showing up on camera. It may be, um, it's just really patchy, especially in this area. I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like the way that it came out. Would I recommend these to somebody? Uh, probably not. Uh, just because I just I don't like the way that they looked I would prefer to just use my good old traditional brushes and know that it's gonna get the job done um, around the lip area 
I used the circular brush that I showed you guys. I'm not sure if my camera cut off, but I used this circular brush and it did apply it pretty well. And then I went back in with a thin brush and just cleaned it up around the edges using my foundation. Um, that seemed to work out pretty well. The foundation brush worked for the most part. It was okay. Um, I, I just, I don't, I can't, I really can't get into this at all. So, um, would I recommend these? No. If you want to invest in them, go ahead. I went ahead and got them at my beauty supply store, so it's not like I really broke the bank, but, um, just honest opinion, I, I would not recommend these. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want me to try out more types of products and give you guys like a first impression um, using the product, then comment that down below. But that is all that I have for you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, and give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Yeah.